Hey everybody and welcome to Leia's Lair. Today's video will continue our series about the different Star Wars ships in canon. The one we will be going over today is the TIE LN Fighter. The TIE LN Space Superiority Starfighter, and more commonly referred to as simply the TIE Fighter, was the signature starfighter of the Galactic Empire. TIE is an abbreviation for Twin Ion Engine, with its official production name being the Twin Ion Engine Line Edition Space Superiority Starfighter. The TIE LN Starfighter was a small, short range fighter developed, manufactured, and mass produced by the Sinar Fleet Systems. The basis for the TIE Fighter can be traced back to the Alpha 3 Nimbus Starfighter, which was developed by Kuat Systems Engineering, a competitor company that was eventually acquired by Sinar Fleet Systems with the rise of the Galactic Empire. The TIE LN measured 7.24 meters in length and could attain a maximum atmospheric speed of 1200 kilometers per hour. It was propelled by two PS3 ion engines, which would be replaced by twin PS4 ion engines by approximately 14 BBY. In order to reduce mass and energy consumption of the ship, the TIE lacked key systems such as deflector shields, hyperdrives, and comprehensive life support. The reduced features allowed the TIE LN to be cheaply mass produced while also improving its maneuverability. The fighter's black wings were in fact an array of 12 solar collectors that would collect power to be used by its twin ion engines and LS-1 temperature laser cannons. Its central cockpit was tightly fitted, incorporating flight controls, view screens, targeting systems, tracking equipment, homing beacons, and room for a single pilot. Although passengers could fit, it would be quite tight. TIE pilots routinely wore full EVA suits due to the ship's lack of full life support. During the reign of the Empire, TIE fighters were favored for their versatility, able to operate both in space and in planetary atmospheres, therefore acting as fighters or scouts. The Outland TIE fighter was essentially the TIE LN fighter with modified wings that could fold when landing, allowing ease of access to the cockpit and to land on non-ideal locations. There were many other fighters in the TIE line, including the TIE Interceptor and TIE Bomber. The first time we see the TIE Fighter in canon was in Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope. Some notable users of this ship include Aiden Versio and Moff Gideon. Interested in learning about which ship you would have? Check out one of our many quizzes here. And there you have it. Thanks for watching everyone. What other ships would you like to see? Let us know down below in the comment section. And remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more great videos to come. We hope to see you all again in Leia's Lair. You are not a Jedi yet.